First impressions, this could be the best on running shoe that I've tried. I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... Good morning, so I'm back in the UK and to my delight there's been a couple of little deliveries um, from various companies of shoes to try out over the last two weeks since I've been out in Kenya and one of them is here from On Running, the new cloud surfer that I'm going to be trying out today. Now if most of you uh, follow the channel you'll know that I was a big fan of the On Cloud Monster so I'm really excited to try these, let's have a little look um, and they're a new daily running shoe, um, but there's been some pretty dramatic changes in terms of the previous version um, and also the technology that uh, On Running have put into this shoe. If you can hear um, the podcast in the background, uh, I'm just checking the audio on my or on our latest podcast. If you don't know, we have a podcast called Run It Three Ways um, with myself, uh, Callum, the, the Distance Project and Tom Folan. Episode 14 has just gone live, so I tend to just listen through it just to make sure the audio is all right while I have my morning coffee. So with majority of uh, on running shoes, they have something called the speed board, which if you see through here, you can, you can see this piece of nylon. Sometimes in the past, on running shoes have been slated a little bit because they're a little bit too firm or yeah, they don't seem to give as much as other running shoes. And the main reason behind that is that that speed board is quite firm and offers quite a firm landing. Whereas this new uh, surfer that's coming out this week, I believe, doesn't have a speed board. So in terms of the rigidity, it's got a bit of cardboard in it at the moment, it's a lot more flexible than something like the Cloud Monster. Today I've got a bit of a recovery run. I did my first um, interval session back down on the track after being at high altitude and it wasn't the best session, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel too great. Um, it was four sets of 2K, 1K, the 2K's at 320 per kilometer and the 1K's at around 310 per kilometer. So I got the session done, didn't necessarily feel too great. I have heard that when you come down from altitude, you don't always feel as good. Uh, the first few days, it takes about a week to, to, feel, to start to feel good again. And one final thing to mention here about the cloud surfer is the cloud elements in this shoe as you can see they're kind of stacked in a dominoes that's how on are describing it in a dominoes formation so that as you sort of go through the foot strike they sort of propel you forward that's the idea behind the sort of the geometry of these uh, cloud elements so i'll be interested to see if i can feel that out on the run today but i'm just going to finish my coffee lace these up and take them for probably around 20 25 kilometers at a nice recovery pace today um, and let you know my first impressions. So I just went through 5k in around 24 and a half minutes, taking it nice and easy today. Bit of a recovery run, as I said, after yesterday's track workout. It's one thing I've learned from being out in Kenya is that on hard days, you run hard, close to race pace. And then on your recovery days and easy days like today, you just take it nice and easy, let the body recover. Um, so that's the plan for today. Probably going to get around 20 kilometers of running at roughly five minutes per kilometer. Nice and easy. But yeah, first impressions of the On Surfer. I'm pretty impressed to be honest with you. They feel super, super soft underfoot, um, which is unusual for uh, an On Running shoe. They're usually a little bit firmer. Um, so I'm really enjoying the ride so far. In terms of comparison, the shoe that comes to mind straight away is the um, Nike Invincible in terms of how soft they feel underfoot. And I can already tell they're gonna fit into my rotation as a bit of a recovery run, easy run shoe. 
I'll do a few strides in them towards the end of the run to see how they feel at slightly faster paces. But the foam in these shoes does feel like it's suited a bit more to easy and recovery runs. Um, but that's just the first impression. So I just went through 10K. Uh, really enjoying the shoes so far. If I had to describe them in two words, it would be soft and smooth. I can really feel those cloud elements on the bottom of the shoe, like compressing as my foot lands. And it gives a really nice sort of rocker sensation as you're running, which is ideal for a nice easy recovery run like today. My foot feels like it's striking the ground how it wants to, and the foot doesn't feel like it's being controlled by the shoe, which is really nice. Super, super soft, which is unusual for on running shoes, as I was saying. And, and for me, this is probably the first on running shoe that I've tried that actually feels like I'm running on a cloud. It's super soft, nice and squishy, and really protective on my legs, which are a bit battered from yesterday's track session. So yeah, first impressions, this could be the best on running shoe that I've tried. So I'm back from my run. First run in the Cloud Surfer 7 from On Running. Um, all in all, a pretty good run, 20 kilometers at 5.03 per kilometer. Just took it nice and easy today. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. Um, I took it mainly on the roads, but did a little bit of uh, trails and it handled it pretty well. The shoe has got the, the usual groove that on running shoes have. It's not so deep and you're probably not going to catch any stones, but if you run in the mud like I did, then it has picked up a little bit of mud underneath. Before I go into some likes and dislikes and give you my first impression, I thought I would share some stats and key features. So we'll start with the midsole, which is where the most um, innovation has taken place in this shoe. So On Running have used a new technology that they're calling the Cloud Tech Phase. It's written on the bottom of the shoe here. Um, and it basically means that this uh, midsole has been redesigned, still has the cloud elements that the all the other run, On Running shoes have, but the way they've been designed is a little bit different. As you can see, they sort of almost collapse in on each other as you go through your foot strike in a dominoes uh, sensation. And to be honest with you, it feels really, really good underfoot. Um, as you land on that mid to heel area of the shoe and transition forward, uh, these cloud elements collapse and it gives you a really nice smooth transition up onto your toes, which I think is definitely the standout feature of this shoe. And I think a lot of people are gonna really, really like that sensation underfoot. The shoe still has the Helion foam, but I've got a feeling it's a little bit of a softer uh, makeup of the Helion foam from on. In a UK uh, eight and a half, it weighs 237 grams or EU 43. So it's a pretty lightweight daily trainer. In terms of the drop, we've got a 10 millimeter drop. We've got 32 mil in the heel, dropping to a 22 millimeter in the forefoot. So it's sort of a, it's not a maximum cushioned shoe, but it's certainly not a, a low to the ground shoe. You can't really feel the ground much um, when running in this shoe. So I would say it's medium to maximum cushioned. I'd also say this shoe fits true to size um, and it's got a pretty plush upper, which I really got on well with. There's a nice amount of padding in the heel, no heel slippage at all. And the tongue here is a lot thicker than on the Cloud Monster. So you get a lot nicer um, lockdown, a lot more comfortable. Um, and I ran 20 kilometers in this shoe, an hour and 40 minutes of running and had absolutely no hot spots or issues in this shoe. The only other stats to mention are the upper. It has an engineered mesh upper and it's sort of got a double layer of that. So very comfortable. And we've got an interesting sort of uh, lace lock system here with these pull tabs, which yeah, seem to work pretty well. A pretty good lockdown. So moving on to my first impressions, as with all shoes here on the channel, I like to give some likes and dislikes. So we'll start with the likes. Um, for me, super, super lightweight compared to other on running shoes and compared to other daily trainers, it's right up there at 237 grams. I also really enjoyed the comfort of this shoe. As I said, straight out of the box, 20 kilometers, no issues whatsoever. A very plush upper and heel counter. I reckon this is gonna be great for those long, slow runs. Um, I haven't run anything fast in this shoe yet, so I'll let you know how it performs over quicker stuff. But today's run on that recovery pace, 
um, the comfort factor was really welcomed. Another one of my likes is this is a definite step in the right direction for on running in terms of what the consumer wants. It's a lot softer. They've uh, taken a step away from their firm midsoles with that speed board and I think a lot more people are going to get on well with this um, than maybe the previous version, especially compared to something like the Surface 6, which was very firm and had a very sort of niche market. So finally, to wrap this first impressions up, I'll do a full review after 100 miles. I thought I'd talk you through some of my dislikes. Um, so one of them is the midsole on this shoe doesn't feel quite as responsive as something like the Cloud Monster did. Um, I'm, again, I'm not sure if it's because it just doesn't have that uh, speed board, but today out on my run, it just felt very cushioned and soft. It didn't feel necessarily like super poppy and responsive, but then again, I was only running five minutes per kilometer, which for me is my recovery pace. Another concern, not really a dislike for me, is the fit of this shoe. So it's quite wide in the toe box and the heel, but in the midfoot, it feels a little bit narrow. Now I have a fairly regular shaped foot, but I reckon if you've got a slightly wider foot, um, you may struggle a little bit with the width on this one, especially in that midfoot section. It's just something to note. Um, you may want to consider going half a size up in this one. I didn't personally have any issues with that, but I maybe foresee some people with slightly wider feet having an issue. I'm not sure if I'm planning to bring out a wide version of this, um, but maybe in that midfoot section it is a little bit on the narrow side compared to something like the Cloud Monster. And the only other final dislike that I can think of really is the stability. Um, because there is no speed board, it, the shoe sort of rotates a little bit more through the foot strike. So for me, as a neutral striker, I had absolutely no problem with that and it was a really nice smooth transition. But I reckon if you're somebody who pronates or under pronates a little bit, you may struggle with this shoe just because of the way the the cloud tech phase system collapses. It doesn't offer as much stability as something like the Cloud Monster and other on running shoes that do have that speed board. So that pretty much summarizes my first impressions review of the Cloud Surfer 7. Expect a full review after 100 miles and I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more uh, running in this shoe in the next few months. Um, if you have any questions relating to the Cloud Surfer, then leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more running shoe content coming very soon. We've got the uh, Hocker Rocket X in for testing and I also have the Hocker Clifton 9. So expect a few more shoe reviews in the upcoming days. Make sure you subscribe and stick around for those. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.